Hey guys, welcome back to News to the Science where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. And welcome back to the channel with another video here talking about the Urin Lowenthal Reddit QA that recently happened. And yesterday, or at least late last night, I uploaded a video talking about that and how he talked about finishing the mocap for Marvel Spider Man 2. And then later on after the upload, really late at night, I stayed up. I got a tweet from Helsing saying, hey, listen, uh, I don't think this was real. Um, I think it was confirmed to be fake. So we're going to go ahead and get into all the details in just a sec. But before we do that, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell notification so y'all don't miss anything. I post videos here on a daily. I do live streams from time to time. Join my Discord. The invitation link to that is in the description box below, along with the links to my social media as well. So last night after i uploaded the video i hope you guys got to enjoy that there was a bit of an l bit there from like death note and he was just you know doing an investigation like he just had to put the kira case aside i thought that was actually kind of a fun bit that i would do for you guys to enjoy in case you guys are just anime fans or death note fans but anyways all jokes aside i actually stumbled upon the story of your lawrence answering some questions on a reddit q a talking about the mocap how it's finished and then what's weird is that he quickly recanted all those claims by saying you know what there's still tons of work to do and i'm just actually just paraphrasing what he said and i find it very strange because i got a couple of responses so we're gonna go ahead and start how this story went about and how it started right after i uploaded the video i got this message here and this is from helsing 1999 8 and I've actually referenced him before already in the previous video. He actually asked Yuri Lowenthal himself. Yuri tweets, hey everybody, I guess tomorrow I'll lose my fancy blue check mark. If you ever want to know if it's still me, just double check to make sure I've been tweeting love, movie references, and dad jokes since 2008. Helsing1999.98 says, have you finished the motion capture voicing for Spider-Man? Yuri Lowenthal responds, no, we still have tons more to do. Now, it's easy to say that he could be joking, and the only reason why I say that is because in the Reddit Q&A, his actual official username is in the Reddit Q&A. And to even prove it even further, here's an actual picture of Yuri Lowenthal holding up a sign with his Reddit username from the Q&A. It matches. I'm of course referring to this image right here with Yuri Lowenthal wearing a black hoodie. It says, hey, I'm Yuri Lowenthal, and I'll be doing an AMA 12 noon, 1 p.m. Pacific time with Skybound for Homestead Arcana at OT Yuri Lowenthal. And if you look at the questions here from a few Reddit users with Yuri's responses, a few of the questions say, have you finished doing voicing for Spider-Man 2, which got three upvotes. Yuri's response, which just also reads OT Yuri Lowenthal AMA guest. Yep. Can't wait to, for you to play it. Are you doing the motion capture for Spider-Man 2? Yep. All done. See, that's where I decided to make that video last night because it came from a username like this and it says AMA guest. It matches exactly what Yuri Lowenthal was talking about in that photo. So I got that response saying, I think it's fake. Now I understand something like this can be easily fake. Anybody can get Photoshop. Anybody can get a random image like this because Yuri doesn't actually have a profile picture on his Reddit account but anybody can easily fake this and what makes it even more valid is that yuri has that photo of himself again with that sheet of paper with his username on it and then for him to quickly recant everything he's talked about and just say no we still have tons of more work to do when he clearly answered yes he's finished doing the mocap on the reddit form it doesn't make any sense to me could it be that marvel games or insomnia games actually got to him gave him a phone call saying hey you can't be answering questions like that if so, why is it that Insomnia Games would stop him from answering questions as such? It's not like he spoiled anything from the game. Saying that you've completed mocap for a game does not exactly reveal any plot details or anything like that. In fact, we would be more worried if he hasn't even come close to finishing the mocap because this game is set to be released later on this year in the fall. That's literally a short four to five months away. So what is it? Which is it? Like, is it... Are they almost done? Do they still have tons more work to do? They have a lot of voiceover to do. What is it? We'll just have to wait and see. But I'm a little bit conflicted myself. I'm not going to lie. And again, I do apologize to all of you. Again, I do want to apologize for hyping you all up. Um, I should have done a little bit more investigating in my part. 
I just quickly jumped to the conclusion that the mocap was done just by simply reading a couple of tweets of people actually capturing images of the Reddit Q&A and I got pretty excited myself. I'm not going to lie. You know, I'm not going to go ahead and deny that. I'm not going to pretend I didn't say that, but I think this might be real and I'm just going to remain like that. I'm just going to say, hey, I think there's a possibility that all of this is real because all the clues and all the evidence that's been presented to us is right there and it only proves it otherwise. And I think this is absolutely real. I know it looks like I've gone back and forth in less than 24 hours where I said, hey, Yuri confirmed that the mocap is finished. This is real. And then I quickly posted it in the community post late at night last night saying, hey, I don't think it's real. And again, I'm sorry for flip flopping like that. Didn't mean to actually just beat around the bush that way, guys. I'm really sorry. When indeed there's probably perhaps like, you know, some work to be done. But I don't know. I, I think because we're only a few months away, this game is already coming close to an end and it's going to be, it should be finished. Knowing Insomniac Games, they do crunch, but they crunch really well. It's not like other gaming companies where they are always crunching all the time. And you've probably heard the stories about Insomniac Games, you know, crunching their employees. Like they're, they're, they're literally just making them work like 60, 70 plus hours a, a week, which can be very, very exhausting. Um, but those were just rumors. I mean, none of that information, I guess, was valid um, from what I know. But still, like, it, it, we're only about a f short five months away. And for Yuri Lowenthal to respond, no, there's still tons of work to be done, is kind of odd. And it's a little off-putting, in my opinion. But you let me know what are your thoughts. Do you think that they still have tons of work to be done? Do you think the mocap is already finished? Uh, do you think Yuri Lowenthal was just trying to save face and he, he just recanted his claims about being done with the mocap? You comment down below with your thoughts and theories, guys. Again, I'm sorry for like bringing you hope. I, I know I said that I was 100% certain that the mocap was finished. And then I came across these tweets and these responses saying, hey, listen, um, like Yuri said this in the, in, uh, in the tweet here but it contradicts everything he said in the Reddit Q&A, you know? And I was like, oh boy, uh, we've been let down once again. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you all so much for watching and tuning in. Be sure to stay tuned for more and stay up to date with the latest in Marvel Spider-Man 2 news here on News to Astonish. And as always, guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell notification so y'all don't miss anything. And I'll see you all in the next comic panel.